expenditure framework is a requirement of the Fiscal Responsibility Act. So it's always a three-year document. So this Fiscal Responsibility Act is for the years 2024 to 2026. The $700 reference price assumes our optimism that investment plus will continue to come in given all the engagements, given all the positive traction we are seeing from investors, from the engagement that were led by Mr. President personally to different countries, in particular India, uh, UAE, and uh, France. The engagement led by the coordinating minister of the economy, engagement led by the trade and investment uh, minister, and indeed other ministers. So and now increasingly engagement made by the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, and indeed all other ministers. So we believe that this inflows will help us to clear the backlog and the, uh, the, the, the exchange rate will begin to reflect a stronger value than the current weakness. Equally, there's, there's also the one for yeah, supplementary. I okay. Equally, there was a question on the assumptions that I spoke about, a number of assumptions, but I said one. I said, actually, I said two. The assumptions include oil price benchmark, which I said for 2024, we are assuming 73.96 oil production of 1.78 uh, million barrels a day exchange rate of 700 uh, then the inflation of 21 percent and GDP growth rate of 3.76 percent the aggregate expenditure is estimated at 26.01 trillion naira for uh, for the 2024 budget, which includes statutory transfers the, uh, of 1.3 trillion, non-debt recurrent expenditure of 10.26 trillion, debt service estimated at 8.25 trillion, and um, as well as 7.78 billion provided for personnel and pension cost. Debt service increased because 22.7 trillion Naira um, ways and means was securitized, meaning it became a federal government debt at 9%. So that is e easily about 2.1 trillion Naira uh, debt service. Equally, personnel costs are going up because of the transfers, pass one to the agreement with labor, which the minister of uh, labor spoke about and uh, indeed anticipation that further agreement with labor might increase in the salary and pay, uh, pensions increases. Thank you. Yes, there will be a supplementary budget because of course uh, there are continuing obligations and there are responses to security which can be immediate. So. Mr. President is mindful of those and he's assessing them, but Mr. President is also committed to the budget process and its integrity. So he wants to ensure that monies that are appropriated will be, uh, can be spent in the period for which they are appropriated, one. And then in terms of presentation of the budget, Mr. President has been engaging with the National Assembly leadership, even ahead of the presentation, to say, uh, this is, this, these are our assumptions, these are our thought processes, so that it can reduce the lead time for which the budget has to go through such considerations, because these are things that there are national interest concerned, there are international economic dynamics and, uh, 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 sorry, reference prices that are not difficult to agree upon. And because of that, we anticipate and the, the broader, generally good cooperation between the executive and the National Assembly, we believe that this 
presentation, this budget will be presented in good time, particularly the 2024 budget, to be passed as before uh, 31st December, and to be passed and signed before 31st December 2023.